Hi guys, I'm Song Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today, so many of you guys request me, Song Kyung, what is the essential Asian ingredient for this quarantine time? So I'm gonna share really simple basic. I actually shared those basic, basic Asian ingredients list a while ago, so you can check it out this. But I'm going to actually share a lot more simplified Asian ingredients you must have to cook my recipe or even any other Asian recipes out there. So the first ingredient is obviously soy sauce. But what soy sauce? There's like million type of soy sauce out there. So all you need to remember, honestly, go to Walmart to get Kikkoman, just regular soy sauce, not like soy sauce that like a like a light in sodium just regular soy sauce any of those light soy sauce actually will work either Chinese brand Korean brand or Japanese brand just make sure you just get one large bottle of soy sauce that all-purpose soy sauce that's all you need no dark soy sauce no soy soy sauce no seasoned soy sauce nothing just regular regular soy sauce sometimes it labeled as light soy sauce light in color but not light in sodium okay that's all you need and if you already have your favorite soy sauce just stick with it okay number two is fish sauce fish sauce is another essential seasoning sauce to have if you love cooking asian food along with soy sauce because in vietnamese cuisine thai cuisine um, korean cuisine nowadays we use a lot of fish sauce to bump up the flavor so if you love those strong umami flavor definitely have a fish sauce in your pantry my favorite fish sauce brand is trick three crab fish sauce from vietnam but Red Boat is also really great fish sauce brand that you can use. Thai fish sauce are also great, but they are a little more saltier size than Three Crab brand. So yeah, Three Crab brand is my first recommendation to buy. Number three, miso. So because I'm Korean, I feel like I'm supposed to say doenjang, but I completely understand miso is probably a lot more easy to get in any regular grocery stores as well. And miso is honestly, it's more fine and not as a strong flavor. So you can use more variety recipes. So definitely have either white, red miso is to your taste. So white miso is a little more lighter. Red miso is a more stronger or there is actually yellow miso kind of combined half and half of that. So whatever you can find. Have one miso in the refrigerator because it's a very useful way to season the food. Miso star fried dish, so delicious. Or you can whip it up some sauce or stew with this. Bomb, got to have miso. Number four, cooking wine. Obviously for Asian cooking, I will highly recommend you to either have rice wine, sake, or mirin, Shaoxing wine because or or soju too. Those can be actually really great cooking wine for Asian cuisine. If you cannot find this Asian cooking wine, so Sangyeong, what can I use then? Um, if you can just find the regular cooking wine, like white or red wine cooking wine that you can find at the grocery store at the vinegar section those will work too, just to have one kind in your kitchen. Because cooking wine is amazing to get rid of some of the unpleasant smell from the meat and also adds really beautiful this aroma to the cooking, to the food, so I really love to use. Some of you probably do not use alcohol or don't want to consume alcohol in your cooking, saying, you know what, cooking wine is not essential for you, so move on to the next. Number five, dried stock powder. Either chicken stock, beef stock, vegetable stock, fish stock, whatever it is, just have one in your house. My recommendation would be definitely chicken stock because it can use all different kinds of cooking, including seafood recipes. So chicken stock, actually chicken stock powder, chicken powder will be most variety used, but all you have is beef stock already in the pantry. No worries, you can use that too. I said stock powder, powder form instead of the liquid form because that way you can keep in your pantry a lot longer and you can just add into the water and make a stock bam like I prefer to have a powder and it will take only this much room of the chicken powder or stock powder instead of this much room for 50 cups you know what I mean you cannot talk about Asian cooking without rice Especially I've been sharing all kinds of crazy fried rice recipe and rice recipe. And whatever recipe you're cooking, you need rice to eat with. You know what I mean? Asian dish usually goes well with rice or noodles better than just bread or potato. That's just, that's the truth. Okay? So, uh, whatever rice you prefer, I will recommend you, if you can have only one type of rice, if you want to have only one type of rice in the house, 
that will be jasmine rice. Because jasmine rice can be just steamed, eating as just a hot steamed rice. It can also really great to make stir fry, like a fried rice, and also it would be great to make porridge. So you can perform multiple different ways very beautifully, so I highly recommend jasmine rice. Number seven, dried noodles. If you already have a bunch of pasta in your pantry, you don't have to go out there buy more Asian noodles. Any dried noodles will do. It can be dried egg noodles, dried udon noodles, dried wheat noodles, dried rice noodles. Just have one kind in the pantry. If you can have only one kind of noodles in your pantry, I would say spaghetti. Yes, I said that for Asian essential ingredients. Did you know Chinese actually teach Italian how to make egg noodles and they made pasta and make it so fancy and like all that and we are still eating it as street food? I'm not Chinese, but you know what I mean? <laughs> also having a second option for just ramen noodles in your pantry, that would be really great too. Number eight, dried chili. To me, dried chili is a must because I love spicy food, but Obviously, if you do not like spicy food or you always prefer mild, obviously, this dry chili also not an essential for you, but it is essential for me. That's why I added it. Number nine, sesame seeds and sesame oil. I'm just putting that together because they are more like a, you know, set. If you wanna have a sesame seeds, you gotta have sesame oil. If you wanna have sesame oil, you've gotta have sesame seeds. You know what I mean? You have to be set. Sesame seeds is because extra protein and also great topping and also just good just good just good you cannot cook asian food without sesame seeds that's why that is why and sesame oil is always beautiful to finish your the dish with beautiful aroma beautiful fragrance um, you can actually use the sesame oil for a dipping sauce salad dressing not for stir fry but like marinating the meat or drizzle on your noodle soup it just elevates the flavor so it's definitely essential and that's it guys those are my essential asian ingredients you must have in your pantry and especially during this time that you do not want to travel so many times to out there to go to grocery store to make one or two recipes so next time when you go to asian grocery store grab all this nine actually ten because sesame seeds and sesame oil i just bundled up together these 10 items must have in your pantry so you can open it up any and every recipes i'm putting it out there so thank you so much for watching guys and remember you can always cook asian food at your house making it easy and fun I'm Sanggyeong Longast and this is Asian at Home. And thumbs up if you liked this recipe and informative, informative for you. And I will see you next time. Bye guys. Mwah.